What's up everybody, this is your boy Movie Man Greg coming at you guys with another episode of The Sopranos. We're doing episode 8 and I'm fully invested in this show. Like I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. You know, what, what's going to happen in the world of Tony Soprano today? So um, it's a lot of things going on. Um, you know, his mama tripping like always. Um, you know, you got the whole situation with his son trying to figure out what's really going on with him. Uh, it's a lot, but you know what? Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get to it. But just remember, if you want to see these reactions unedited in full, um, have a deeper conversation, consider becoming a member. The link will be down in the description below on my Patreon. Um, and you get other benefits as well by helping me determine what other videos I will be reacting to. Uh, without further ado, let's go and get this party started. I am ready. Headphones. In the Czech Republic too, we love pork. You ever had our sausages? Is he high or is he dreaming? Something going on. What in the hell? He's definitely dreaming. Adriana. In the Czech Republic too, we love pork. Ever had our He might have been high and then fell asleep and was dreaming as well. Change my meat to Black Forest. Huh? <laughs> Chopped up body. Here's these. Where Two. did you find them? One in the table, three in my skull. Ah, oh, damn. Get rid of these. Oh. Oh. So I'm like, is he having a traumatic experience that he killed him? Or is he realizing I fucked up? I didn't take the bullets out of my man's head. And if his body get discovered, it's a wrap. Oh, Mama Olivia, go mustai, darling. Listen to him with that, my darling. I am nobody's darling. Oh my God, here she go. Tripping. Come on, Mom. Wow. <laughs> With the rehearsal dinner and everything, you know, just to, yeah. I, I, there's the priest, though. I'll be right there. Mm. What kind of disturbing shit has he heard? Federal indictments. Yeah. Where the fuck you get this? I got a guy who owes me. He's got a gumar who works at FBI headquarters as a word processor. Ooh. Indictments? What the fuck are you talking about? Are you sure about this? Oh, it ain't just mm. my source in Jersey. Ooh. You guys see indictments under your bed at night. <laughs> right away, you're ready to lamb it. As far as I'm concerned, it's just speculation. It's rumor. Nah. Nah. What do you think? What the fuck you, what the fuck you mean, Tony? What the fuck? Yeah, I'm Uncle Junior. I'm the boss. Listen to me. Hey, that was kind of bad. Like, they literally just undermined the junior right in front of him. Like, whoo, ooh, the disrespect. I'm gonna do that another time. They said the indictments can happen at any time. Somebody should do a little spring cleaning. That was my next comment. Across the sea. Oof, them boys really want Tony to be the boss. Yep, okay, they all dipping out. Hey, we gotta go. Nope, we gotta go. Damn, he just snatched our ass up out our seat. Let's get the fuck up out of here. Let's go. Let's go, god damn it. <laughs> It'd be crazy if the shit went down at the wedding. Here we go. Yeah. Right now. Why the fuck now? Just when things were going good. Ooh, they don't know she there. Boot your computer. The cops are coming. So? You want them to see all that porno you downloaded? <laughs> oh, man. I'm not giving you my engagement ring. This isn't stolen. 
Oh. Is it? It's a stolen. Oh my god. He fucking stole that shit. Of course he did. I thought I I thought damn his misspelling is all kind of messed up. Chip, yes, Rocco. I thought I was dead, but I managed to get the drip on him. Damn, Chris. Holy shit. Bro. I hope they got spell check. Well, you misspelled dead and managed and drip for drop. I managed. Yep. Travel light, free bird. You stole this computer plus the one that you just gave Melissa. <laughs> oh, man. My man's is a little bit slow. Will undoubtedly be focused on the as yet unsolved execution style slaying of soprano family associate brendan filone Ooh. will and he winds up dead soldier or no as yet apparently. brendan filone associate soldier fuck you jesus <laughs> i gotta go i gotta go is he mad that they nobody makes skin so gravy like i know he want to be the man but Huh. I have a patient. You wouldn't want to say the word guinea in front of him. Ah, Tommy male seeing the shrink. Let me guess. Mother issues. Why wouldn't you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> sure, you can. Like, that might be what you would questions? do, Richard. <laughs> now I remember why we got divorced. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. To describe an Italian American in this country, invariably is going to reference The Godfather, Goodfellas, good movies. <laughs> the constant portrayal of Italian Americans as gangsters. Wasn't the Italian anti deaf deal started by Joe Colombo, a mobster? Mm hmm. That Irish pissing and moaning about always being portrayed as, as rustlers and gunslingers. Oh, that's absurd. See where you started with your gravy, Nana? <laughs> Over the gravy. <laughs> Bro, you still writing that story on that stolen laptop? Kind of busy now. And get some Shoyadel and cannoli and shit for the guys. Yeah. Busy doing shit for writer's block. <laughs> there you go, big guy. Makes it seem like he's been there all day. He probably been here for like three minutes. <laughs> Said he could. Hey, poppin' Ooh. fresh. I'm in no fucking mood today. I'm next. Now get a fucking pastry box. You know what can I get you? Oh. oh. Oh, this he's he's the wrong one. All right, let me have uh, two new Powell and loaves. You touch uh, a single fucking crust, you're gonna wish you took that job at McDonald's. Oh, oh, here we go. For my bread, you come back in ten minutes. Hey, what the fuck do you think you're doing? Ooh. Come on. Ooh, and he gonna lead too. He's not a dumb man. Now get up. I'm not gonna hurt you. What is it? What is it? Do I look like a pussy to you? Uh, oh, no. So why the fuck would you give me a hard time and talk to me like I'm nothing to worry about? I, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, you sorry. Stop it. Hey, hurry the fuck up. Shvoyadel and the police. Hey, hurry the fuck up. Give me the box. Come on. Yeah, I bet you ain't gonna talk shit like that to nobody else again. Next time you see my face, show some respect. I will. Oh, he actually shot him in the foot. I know my man's not just standing there still waiting for his cannolis, <laughs> his bread. 
<sighs> Kristen flipped his wig. You brought up in a barn or what? What's the matter with you, huh? This is no time to go on a rag, Christopher. Not with the indictment shit coming down. Mm, he just made that shit worse. He about to get picked up off of that shit. They, he just gave them a reason. Fucking amazing though, huh? You know what, that news guy, he said the words Brendan Falone, I'm telling you, the hair's in the back of my neck. It fucking stood up. <laughs> Yeah, he jealous. For me. Shut the fuck up. He's oh. at you looking for what? I have no idea. He getting mad at the wrong shit. Come on, Chris. I guess him writing that story kind of shows how illiterate he is. <laughs> he's not he's not the sharpest crayon in the box. I shouldn't wonder if something's wrong. Jeez, oh, I'm sorry. It's a nice day. I thought I would take you out. <laughs> she ain't stupid. She knows something's wrong. Is gonna stop serving brunch any minute. Did he cheat on you again? <coughs> oh my God. I tried to do nice. me to take you out. Right away you think I have some other agenda that I have to do. Because you do. Out. You do. Is she just trying to get her out so then he can go in? He about to stash his shit there. That's what he about to do. He about to stash his shit at his mama house. Yup. Ah. That's, that's the shit at the mama crib. Gotta have a safe spot. Only thing is, she probably go through her shit pretty frequently because she ain't got shit else to do. And he can't tell her ass because she'll be on some other shit. Can't trust her. Does this have anything to do with what's been on the news lately? <laughs> mm. Alrighty. And he over here. Who is it? Paulie, open the door. Melodrama. Soaking in his feelings because he feels so insignificant because he hasn't made it up the the mafia ladder yet blew off a kid's toe for no good reason in russo's bakery drove a lexus mm. Mm. Dumb it. that a lot or a little books say a movie's supposed to be about 120 pages <sighs> got this fucking computer i thought it would do a lot of it <laughs> <laughs> my advice Put that thing down a while. We go get our joints copped, and tomorrow, the words will come blowing out your ass. <laughs> Somewheres, then they do something, something gets done to them, changes their life. That's called their arc. Where's my arc? You just did it. You shot my man's in the... See the arc? He starts down here. He ends up here. Where's my arc, Paulie? But then, at the end, don't he end up down there? <laughs> Wise guy. So what? I got no identity. Even Brendan Falone's got an identity. He's dead. <laughs> See, yeah. It's hot, so the slugs in his head couldn't be traced back to me. You know who had an arc? Nola. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, hey, so the gun. It was a hot gun, so he ain't got to worry about it. Are they digging up the body? What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Oh, is that him? Now that would be some fucking coincidence if it wasn't, wouldn't it? Oh. <coughs> Ooh, I know that shit stank. Ooh. He's got a fucking beard now. Oh, you know what? I read that. That happens. Jesus, I always thought it was bullshit. Oh, he grew. <laughs> Fucking kill. He grew a beer after death. On the pine barrens before they build a fucking condo here. <laughs> Georgie. <laughs> he grew a beard after death. That happens. With its cheesy moral relativism, finally going to get to good and evil, and he's evil. Hmm. 
Whoosh. That's a lot to chew on. A lot to think about. Look at him pondering, thinking himself. Sorry, I'm late. The alarm. Ooh, dumbass. Ain't been feeling good. You know what? I wet my ass with your feelings. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Drive the fucking car. Why did he punch me? Because he's late or... You want to get caught. Yeah, you want to get caught. I've seen it before. That's fucking cowboyitis. You want to be a big bad guy, Christopher? I was worried that I didn't Shut do... Shut up! Huh, shut the fuck up and listen. Learn something, goddammit. Shut your stupid ass up. You're... Depressed. Me? I'm no fucking mental midget. Mental? What? What? He got his cigarette backwards. Fuck. God, yeah. Yeah, he got a lot of shit on his mind. He can't even light a cigarette right. Saw it last night on a program. What, take fucking Prozac? Not this skinny guinea. Uh-huh. your question. You ever think about, uh... Therapy? He want to tell him, but he can't tell him. Don't tell him. Hey, Stone, did you hit a goddamn doorbell? I'm in the middle of a game. You'll be in the middle of a fucking street, you don't wise up. <laughs> oh shit. Got somebody at the door and somebody at the window. Oh shit. I'm Agent Harris. This is Agent Frisco. May we come in? If I say no? If we were local, we wouldn't even have knocked. Ooh. Kids by kicking in doors. So uh, why don't you take a minute and tell them you have uh, visitors? Hey, that was, that was some, I don't want to say G shit. That was pretty respectable of the FBI because they could have just came in. Koosh, FBI, get on the ground. Get your ass down now. We got a search warrant. Like, look at him. Yeah, he's on vacation. <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> oh, it ain't coming back. Kitchen? Hope they didn't forget any spots. <sighs> so, you think it's a coincidence they sent him? If he wasn't Italian, he'd be back at the office sweeping up. The stupid jerk. They probably frisk him every night before he goes home. <laughs> Angelo, where they treat people. Did you know that an Italian invented the telephone? Alexander Graham Bell was Italian? You see? Ooh, I didn't know that. Who knows that? Oh, never mind. Who invented the mafia? Oh. Gee. Is there something you want to say to me? I just like history, like you, Dad. Can you just shut the fuck up? Oh! <laughs> like, he's right, though. Like, he's right, though. Is it true that the Chinese invented spaghetti? Now, think about it. <laughs> Why would people who eat with sticks invent something that you need a fork to eat? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Our very first meeting. I know, but I just explained to you my situation. I understand, but it's important that we respect the agreement. Yeah, if you know. Oh, here. here you go. Of course, this is what it's all about, right? Motherfucking cock sucking money. Here. Oof. The disrespect. Stand up, tell me that you don't appreciate being made to feel afraid. I don't appreciate feeling like I pour my heart out to a fucking call girl. Damn. Eight on your next month's bill. Fine. Stick it up your ass. All righty. And the next session, they're going to add like nothing to this shit. Sap. Sap, ladies and gentlemen. Pace yourselves. Don't spend it all in one place. Movie night. That was supposed to have been a joke? That shit was terrible. No pressure. Uh -huh. 
I'm sure he's telling the psychiatrist it's all his mother's fault. What are you talking about? Oh, she just dropped the fucking bomb. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Such a terrible mother. A psychiatrist? Yes, Junior, for Christ's sake. Show of hands. She know what the fuck she doing. She played dumb, but she she know for today. The Star Ledger. Miss Jones told me with all those scumbags. It's been a while. That's what you wanted. You wanted to be a part of this shit. Uh-huh. Those were some tough Jews. Oh my god. Everybody they just exposing the the bigotry and everybody. Everybody. And this idiot right here. I got a feeling he gonna be excited. He gonna be happy that his fucking name is in the paper. He gonna fucking smile. Quiet Bobby Rufus. Oh, look at this motherfucker. Wow. He's an idiot. He is an idiot. Oh, my God. All right, there we have it, people. Another episode down. This fool, Chris, is an idiot. There's so much stuff going on. Man, Tony Mama then blew up his, his spot. Literally just told the head boss, the head honcho, that Tony is in therapy. Like, why? She is an evil, diabolical, terrible motherfucker. Like, she get on my nerve. She gets on my nerve. And the thing is, Tony don't see that she's, she's going to inevitably be his downfall. You know? It's hard to think of your own mother like that. It is. It really is. But he need to fucking wake up, smell the coffee. And then it's crazy how, what I do like about it, what I really do like about it is they really portray, try to portray the characters as authentic as possible, especially during this time, which is 15, 20 years ago, you know, when people wasn't as socially aware as they are now. You know, a lot of people are, a lot of people are not, but... I like how they show everyone's natural bigotry throughout the show, throughout the series. It's like not everybody is thinking everyone is equal or, you know, everybody have their own, their own conceptions on how their own race is and how everybody else's other, you know, every other races are. So I like the authenticity, how everybody is and how everybody's been portrayed. So that's something I'm thoroughly enjoying. Um, what else? It's about to go down. Like, well, but I don't know. It can't, too much can't happen because again, this is just season one and this was on for several seasons. How many seasons was this on? Six seasons? I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm excited to see what happens next. Um, but with that being said, again, thank you guys for taking the time to kick it with your boy on this reaction. Again, if you want to see these reactions in full, make sure you uh, consider becoming a member on my Patreon page. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, theories, hypothesis, feedback, conclusions, or just want to say what's up, make sure you do so in the comments. And with that being said, thanks again. I catch you on the next reaction. Until then, peace. Oh, Chris is an idiot.